Hey folks! Back to Star Control 2 here. We're continuing the Let's Play of Star Control 2, the Urquan Masters. Last time, uh, we made contact with the very strange and befuddling ores. And this time, we are going to be going back to ore space for a bit, because I want to explore that a little bit more. There's some other things I want to see if I can find in their systems. And... Maybe I go see if we can find out what happened to Shofixti. So... Back to our space. Here we go. Here we come. So we'd explored uh, Zeta Flabeculi. Uh, have we gotten to Epsilon yet? I don't think so. Let's go to Epsilon and check it out. Nope, did not go to the system yet. All right. Where's the plant? Where's that first one? Oh, the plant's right there. Okay, I see it. Guests are nice, but not really what I need right now. I might mind them anyways. Alright, well this plan is not worth much, we're not gonna bother. I am expanding! It is so much squishy to smell you. Campers are the best. I have anticipation and then what? Better party in the middle for sure. Aha. Uh -huh. Um Hi. Yes! We do! Goodbye is the game. Hello! I am only joke. It is funny enough. Do not forget to enjoy the sauce. Yeah. Alright, well this system didn't have much in it over at worth. I guess I could go mine that planet there though. So might as well let's go do that.
Yeah, 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 bye. Yeah. We've talked to you guys enough at this point. We've had enough. We, there's nothing else I can pick up from you guys either, other than pushing them further on the Anderson, and I do not want to do that. Um, I will leave it. I might save the game and put and keep pushing them in the Anderson just so you can see what happens. I don't intend to do that in the actual playthrough, though. You know who I am. You don't have to keep bugging me. Oh my. Uh, some of that's red, some of that's orange. Alright. Class 4 weather, class 3 tecton. It's going to be tricky, but... Oh, they're hot spots here. Screw that. We're not dealing with this right now. I am. Yes. Yeah. Alright, we're not bothering you guys. Not that planet. Okay, so that's another planet. Every system had like a planet or two I need to come back to when I've got better, uh, better equipment. For my landers. Uh, Zul in the chat asked what uh, happens if you push the, uh, the ores too far in the Anderson. Um, tell you what, after I finish uh, mining, mining out the system, I'll show you guys. I'll save the game so you can see what happens. The dialogue's amusing enough that it's worth showing. But we'll not do it right this minute. Not worth landing on. Happy pieces! I am squirting nice colors. Why? The reason. Camper friends have come to Taylo Playground. Why are you coming to this? What do you mean by playground? Can you explain some more? Yes, yes. You say words, then I say. It is fun in between. More fun than dancing. Many gravity centers in heavy space make good party places. This is why we like the new town. So many campers, and then what? Even the playground. Such a surprise. At this playground, the Halo are making time jokes. It is too funny for the oars. Taylo are in heavy space, and next what? They spread to pretty space, because Denari are chasing them. Now, Denari are sleeping, so Ors can chase them. Then we can have a party. They are even better campers than you. Do not feeling bad. You are good enough campers. But not yet. Aha! Why are you here on this planet? Uh... I will tell. This is the Alo Playground. Do you know? The Alo is not anymore the heavy space. They are not here. To play with the Alo, Oars must spread into pretty space. There are so many good places for this here. Oars are happy. Of course, 
You do not know Taylo. You are campers. You cannot go into pretty space. Too bad. Ha. Huh. Uh, do you mind if we did a bit of exploring on the planet's surface? You are asked if ores are upset. Ores are not upset. You are happy campers. Certainly, you are only slow time walkers. It is not fun on the surface in slow time. If you want to go, that is okay. There's an energy, energy signature down there. Sweet. Uh, we will mine. It's a relatively low G. Surface. Captain, we have found an unusual glowing rock thing here on the surface. When we first noticed it, we thought it was a naturally fluorescing igneous dike. But upon closer observation, we can only conclude that this object is artificial in origin. Taylo design. Those guys are sure built to last. Simple radiometrics show an age in excess of 20,000 years. Regardless of how old it is, it continues to radiate energy all up and down the EMR spectrum, with a concentration of emissions in the red infrared range. Even though it weighs a ton, we will definitely lug this puppy up to the ship. One last comment before I sign off. Ensign Hodg Ensigns Hodgkins and Witherspoon have been reporting extreme headaches and mental disarray when they approach the Tyler device. None of the, rest of, us any, none of the run of, rest of us have any problems, so either the Ensigns are just being babies, or the Tylo device produces some kind of shield that affects only certain people's minds. Maybe the scientists back at the starbase will tell us more. End of report. God, the Anderson, the systems the Anderson had, it had a f ton of resources. Holy cow.
Nope, nothing. All right. Nothing worth mining. Damn it. I am. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm not in the mood to talk to you guys, sorry. Plus, you don't have any useful information for me right now. Chondrite World. Well, that's worth crap. I am. Yeah. Talk a little bit too often. Sometimes. God I freaking! Am. Go away! Yeah. There's a few too many ships in the system. Ah! I keep falling back into the planet. There we go. This is a different planet. Lucid world. Absolutely nothing. Excellent. That was worthwhile. Alright, just one last planet to look at. One of the fringes of the system here. Metal world. Some radioactives, biologicals. This is worth a risk. Let's see. We'll see what kind of biologicals they are. Uh, it's got some. Alright, this is actually. Oh, hey, that thing's an aggressive one. It's coming after me. Something you need to be careful of. Ow. Is that your stunner can actually destroy minerals. And you won't be able to mine them, which is unfortunate. Get the last bit of life forms. And whatever minerals are left on the planet's surface. Alright, that planet was so worth going to. Alright. Actually, 
I mean, I can just fly straight there. Okay, I'm gonna save the game here just because. Enjoy the sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so that's the Ors home world. We can't land there. Sauce, blah blah blah. I'm in the mood to talk to you right now, Ors. Right, uh, let's see, where is the next planet out? Yeah, you can get in a, you can ca get caught in convers like loops like that, where if you're, you run into an if you run into a ship right on top of a planet, um, if you don't move quickly enough after you finish conversation. Uh, You'll fall back onto the planet and have to leave. Lucid world completely useless, got it. Why are you okay? You're not following me, you're just orbiting. Okay, good. Phew. Thought he was following me. I'm like, I don't need to talk to you again. Ooh, 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 Emerald World, sweet! I did. I'd forgotten this was here. I, I wasn't looking at my sheets or anything. Excellent. Excellent. Totally worth it.
Holy cow. A lot of planets here. A lot of moons here. Let's check out these moons. This moon here. The Urea world. Well, Bumpkin's good. This is probably a Selenic, I'm guessing. Yep, Selenic world. It's basically, basically like our moon. Chondrite world, not very useful. Probably another Selenic here. Yep. Lots of base minerals, but nothing we really want. And that's likely a gas giant, let's just confirm that. Yep, gas giant. Alright, we're done in this system. Anything useful in here? <laughs> Xenolithic world. Not nope, nothing only biologicals, not enough minerals to be worth landing on. Shots to go down. Calcium is not why I'm here. The calcium is bonus stuff. I'm here for the biological data. I mean, yes, I can definitely use more minerals and stuff, but... what those little sort of, uh, if you missed earlier on, uh, one of the earlier chapters, uh, record, uh, parts, uh, those are little earthquakes. <laughs> Lots of biologicals. Class 7 tectonics, I think not. I don't have I don't have the uh, the earthquake prediction device on my landers yet, so no. Lanthanide world. Class seven tectonics. We'll pass for now.
Strictly speaking, I don't really need to gather all, the, all that much biological data, because I do know where all the rainbow worlds are, and that's worth a ton of credits total. But, um, again, class 8 tectonics, damn. Radioactive world. Sweet. Tectonics, probably not worth it. No, definitely not worth it, considering that there's almost nothing on it, so sweet. Treasure World! truckload off this. Telluric world. Biologicals. Alright. Uh, probably worth going down. It's dangerous, but not too bad. Ow. 
Alright, we got a little more life forms and some other minerals we can pick up. So. Explore the system. Yeah, we did. This is the Anderson homeworld. All right, we've, been, we've already done the system. We are done with the ores, with the systems in terms of exploring for now. We may come back later for, with uh, when we got better landers and such. So in the meantime, let's go chat with the Melner May over here. Oh, Milner May, I've got biological data to sell you. Your arrival was predicted by our soul crystals vibrations. We already know why you are here and what you need from us. However, etiquette requires that we act as though we are ignorant of your desires. Now, what can we do for you today? Oh, what can you do for us? Well, we'd like to sell some biological what data. would you like to sell, Captain? The 232 units of biological data we downloaded from your ship earn you 464 credits. Excellent. Let's make some purchases. What great items would you like to buy today? Uh, I'd like to buy some fuel. How much fuel? Fill her up! Fuel transferred to your vessel. New tech. technology we are now offering includes plans for building improvements to your planet landers, which make them resistant to hostile alien life forms. Our reinforcement procedures on your landers are complete. Now, provided your crew will stop putting their hands out the windows, they will be much better protected against hostile life forms. The technology we are now offering includes blueprints, which show how to increase your lander's cargo space to double its present volume. Sure, we'll buy it. I hope this makes your resource gathering more cost-effective, Captain. The technology we are now offering includes blueprints, which show how to add double capacity fuel tanks. I will buy that too. We hope that these improved tanks will make more module slots available on your flagship which you can fill with other, more useful equipment. The technology we are now offering includes plans for improving the rate of fire on your lander's stun ray bolt beamer gun. Nope, don't have the money for what it now. What else would you like to buy? I'm saving the rest of the money for fuel for the moment. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, Captain. We look forward to your next visit. Yep. Oh, that's right. Uh, some of the chat mentioned the uh, whole pushing the Ander, talking, asking the orders about the Anderson. Uh, we'll do that. Let me just uh, star. No, nope, not star map. Uh, all right. Save game. All right. Uh, let's go up here. And
Gotta find somewhere where I can see a bunch of ore ships. There we go, there's an ore ship. Hey you! Buddy! Tell us about the Anderson. I am expanding! It is so much squishy to smell you. Campers are the best. I have anticipation and then what? Better party in the middle for sure. Alright, tell me this, are we in the same fate as the Anderson? You are not same. You are happy campers, but already you know. I will not talking about silly Anderson. Now is stop asking. If you are say the question another time, it is crumples too much. And oars are dancing for dissolving the campers. I am clear. You are not so silly. Okay, okay, it's not really a question, but let's just say you were going to talk about the Anderson. If you, if you were, what would you say? It is dancing! And, uh, as you see, the orbs will now attack us. Those are actually not an easy matchup in general. He's as fast as I am. Ow. He's wearing me down.
So yeah, uh, and now the ores will attack me on sight. So uh, we're going to load the save game now, because no. Uh, and instead, we're going to go back to uh, Earth here. And so that's what happens if you push the uh, ores too far. They turn on you. Because they don't want to talk about it. Alright, we're going to go back here. Uh, go back to Earth. Sell off uh, minerals. Fiddle with our fleet a little bit. And then we're probably going to wrap this part up. And then we'll go see what's up with the ship. Fix the next part. Greetings, Captain. I'm ready to assist you. I know you're busy, but I've got some news. We're receiving a priority distress call from the Zakfat homeworld at Alpha Tukane. The signal was urgent but extremely weak. The only portions of the transmission that we can be sure of are help, black destroyer, planet under attack, help. Worse than Zebranki, whatever that means. And finally, help. Well, um, okay, that changes our plans. I think we're gonna go save the Zotbot pick from the Korra. Um, <laughs> if you can keep this up, we'll turn that flagship of yours into a genuine dreadnought killer. All right. Analyze what we have acquired since our last visit. The analysis reads as follows. Subject to ALO device. Data, whoever the Taelo were, they were clever, way past us, probably even beyond the Chen Jesu. As far as I can tell, with all our equipment, this thing is a rock. Just a rock. Nothing but a rock. However, if you feed a current into it, anywhere along its surface, everyone on board this star base who has Esper potential gets a bad headache. Well, we checked a bit more into that, and when the Taelo thing is active, all evidence of Psycon interaction is flatlined. Nothing gets through. Summary, if you keep this Taelo rock device thing on board your vessel, I'll bet you're immune to any form of psychic attack, or at least mostly immune. That's the end of our scientist's report. We shall await your return, Captain. So yes, we now are, have a thing to protect us from psychic attacks. That will not at all come at not come at all be turn out to be incredibly useful. Nope, not at all. Be very useful. Alright, uh Alright, what I'm gonna do here is actually kinda Nemesis, I mean. Love these ships. No 
you might be wondering, Peter. Mechel, why are you leaving the star base without any fuel? Part of it's because I don't really need to need much right now. You'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. But I'm going to buy a little bit. I'm going to show you something else we can do now. That I'm not done yet. Strictly speaking, I wouldn't. I don't need fuel, but I want to have. I want to get a. I'm, gonna, I'm going to end up with a full tank here, roughly. All right. Manifest devices. I'm got caster. We use the Amga Hyperwave Caster to, uh... I'm not gonna be able to get a full tank, I don't think, but whatever. This very morning, I was just saying to subordinate Oker, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the feet of a huge human. <laughs> we laughed and laughed. What? A synchronicity. <laughs> now, what can we do for you today? Let's uh, make some purchases. Fuel. Oh. Fuel, thanks. Fuel. 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 Fuel, thanks. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, Captain. We look forward to your next visit. So we at, with the uh, Umga Caster, we now have the ability to basically call the Milner Mate from in Walburn Hyperspace to come help us. So, very useful. We're gonna save the game here. And and wrap up this part of the uh, this, this recording here. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody had fun. Tune in next time when we go save the Zotvot pick because they need our help. Um, and then we'll just, and then hopefully we'll see if we can find out what happened to the uh, the show fixed team. Thanks, and I'll see you guys soon.